tobi olorun ba 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 e olorun to to tobi olorun ba 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 aye o ba o forushe
akoda yeba ashida yeba we call to we call to we worship you holy are you lord all creations calls you god <laughs> worthy worthy is your name and we worship your majesty Awesome God, how great you are. I say you are God, oh mighty. I your me and we stand in awe of your holy name. mighty name we are worshipped. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. I want to use this medium to thank every one of you from everywhere, from all places all over the world that sent in support to enable the first phase of our feeding of 250 needy families. It was awesome. By the grace of God, I believe that before this my message we would have seen one or two videos, little little clips, of those that were grateful to God that received what you sent through us and what God helped us to do today. By the grace of God, the second phase of this, our outreach will soon come up. We are looking about less than four weeks time, putting all logistics in place. We couldn't cover two villages. We had to go to one, Kuchi Belna village. I want to thank every one of you for your presence. I want to thank you so much. God, who sees open labels, 
will reward you who see secret labels will reward you to open rewards in Jesus name I've been preaching I've been teaching on a series today we are doing the part 4 my mouth my helper part 4 as I'm led by the grace of God there's something God wants me and you to understand about our mouth that it is not a decoration neither is it just an, an appendage attached to our body there is a purpose God gave us a mouth more so I've told us in the previous teachings, teachings that we have a speaking God that where God can talk he can laugh he can feel the Bible says in the book of Mark John and Luke that when Jesus was nailed to the cross the heavens became dark for over three hours that was a time you could feel the emotions of God running wild because he had given he has given his only begotten son that me and you may be saved praise the Lord what a great sacrifice we will never never be able to forget the sacrifice on the cross and will remain indebted to God, our Creator Almighty, forever and ever. Father, we return all the glory for that sacrifice in Jesus' name. So I've been teaching on the title, the series titled, My Mouth, My Helper. Today is part four. Praise the Lord. Wherever you may be, carry your Bible and turn with me to the book of Joshua, chapter two. Joshua, chapter two. I will read and I'll then begin to teach. Just a few minutes, by the grace of God, we'll rejoice together. Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. My father and the Lord, Pastor Yuno Kadeja Adeboy, taught me one thing. I noticed that each time he mentions a scripture, he repeats it. So that those who may not have heard the very first time will catch up the second time. I'm saying again for the fourth or fifth time, Joshua chapter 2, from verse 1. And Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into an harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. I said to you earlier in the earlier series that no matter your condition, your mouth can deliver you and your mouth can take you to the grave. And I said in the third series, I said, Your mouth can become the sepulchre of your problems, your mouth can become the burial ground of whatever you are facing today if it is well used. From today, your mouth shall be well used in Jesus' name. Verse 2, and it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came, in, came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come up to thee, which are entered into thy house, for they be come to search out all the country. And the woman took the two women. And the woman took the two men and hid them and said thus, There came men unto me, but I wist not whence they were and it came to pass about the time of shutting the, of the gate when it was dark that the men went out whither the men went I watch not pursue after them quickly for ye shall overtake them but she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the flask with the stalks of flax which she had laid in order upon the roof and the men pursued after the after them the way to Jordan unto the forts and as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out they shut the gate and before they were laid down she came up 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 unto unto them upon the roof and she said unto the men listen here this is where i'm going by the grace of god before we begin to examine other areas amen and she said unto the men i know that the lord has given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us that's verse 9 and that all the inhabitants of this land, Jericho, faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you, when ye came out of Egypt. What he did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side, Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had, we had heard these things, our hearts did melt, not that word. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God he is in is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Now therefore I pray thee, swear unto me by the Lord, since I have showed you kindness, that ye will also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true token, and that ye will save my alive my father, and my mother, and my brethren and sisters, and all that have that that they have, and deliver our lives from death. 
and the men answered unto her, Our life for yours. If ye utter not this our business, and it shall be when the Lord has given us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with thee. Praise the Lord. I will jump from here to chapter 6. When these men came, they came on an expedition to find out what was going on and how this country can be acquired. Right now we have some people in our country spying everywhere. They do Okada, they do Kekena Pep, all sort of things. And they are confident that Nigeria is just for the taking. Very soon, everyone that has been in doubt will be left without doubt when God will manifest himself and his power over our nation Nigeria in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Recently, there was a story I remembered again. It was the story of Mike Tyson. The Bible said, I mean, the story said, when he was going to fight Buster Douglas, everybody was in no doubt that Tyson was going to win. Buster Douglas even had an heart issue. But this guy had some gifts. His fist was very, very lethal and he was a very, very big fellow. They were looking at a way to deal with some, uh, uh, Mike Tyson to collect the championship, the belt for, from him. But unknown to him that the enemy had planned a lot to make sure, to ensure his defeat. One fellow spoke and many people ignored that word to the detriment of Mike Tyson. That fellow is now late Muhammad Ali, former Cassius Clay, the world-renowned boxer and world champion. He said, the moment Tyson doubts his ability, he's a gunner. He said, the moment he doubts, he said, Tyson has been fighting, he's been beating everybody, but the moment he doubts, he sees something to make him doubt. And look and say, can I really do this? He said, from that moment, it's finished. I'm paraphrasing what Ali said. That was not the way he literally put it. And then they started adverts for Buster Douglas. James Buster Douglas. His name alone, a Buster, is somebody that busts things open. And they started doing adverts. They calculated the reach and the range, the depth of the strength of the punching power of Mike Tyson. Then they compared him to that of Buster Douglas. And they said, wow, this guy, he can punch more than Mike Tyson. That his own is a bit far, far higher than Tyson. That if any of his blow should land on the jaw of Tyson, Tyson is gone. Do you know, in the course of the fighting, just one little hook somewhere in the, along the line in the fight, Tyson fell. That was what Buster Douglas needed. James Buster Douglas saw that all he needed to do was to land just one punch. And then he got Tyson. But it was not the punch that floods at Tyson. It was fear. When that blow hit Tyson, the, his mouth guard fell out. Tyson was groping on the floor like a blind man. Inside the ring. And that was the end of the fight. That was how James Buster Douglas, he did not carry that title for long. But that was how he became world champion. And from that moment, Tyson, everybody started beating Tyson. Because they knew that this guy too can fear. Right now, many people in Nigeria, they are afraid all over. But I want to tell you one thing. The weapon to deliver you is in your body. It's your mouth. Wake up in the morning. I say, I shall not be slave to any. Those who plan to make me a slave will become my slave. Everyone who wants to destroy my country will be destroyed. Just open your mouth and be speaking. You will see what God will do in the next few weeks. You will be shocked. Let's move on from there. If from chapter 2, Rahab spoke and said, Our confidence is gone. Our heart has melted inside us. We have heard of what your God has done. Few chapters later in chapter 6, the Bible said, Truly, the country of Jericho was taken. Jericho is now in Palestine. It was taken. The Bible historian said the wall of Jericho can carry 32 chariots. 16 going, 16 coming. That is equivalent of 32 cars. 
So he can carry 32 chariots walk, moving on top of the wall of Jericho, according to historians. That means 32 vehicles. That means we are talking about a 32 lane expressway. Now, if such a wall, if such is a wall and it falls down, nobody among the Israelis can still climb it. I always say one thing during each time I teach about this area that that wall did not fall. That wall sank into the ground. But the Bible said the children of Israel ran upon it and entered into Jericho. Do your mathematics. Your little mental son. A, a wall on top, the width that can carry 32 chariots. Imagine. Praise the Lord. Many people have used their mouth to destroy themselves. This sickness, ah, they will even help the doctors to analyze infirmity, which they don't know is very, very dangerous. As soon as somebody has, hey, I feel a lump in my breast, so they begin to say terrible things. Who told you that the lump, when a child is still young, there's every tendency, your breast cannot be like that of a married woman that has given suck to a baby. You may feel some pains there. Take time to pray first before you go and turn yourself into a sacrificial lamb in the hand of some hapless doctors. Many have used their mouth to call upon themselves infirmities and sickness, defeats and terrible deaths that God did not ordain for their destiny just because they do not know how to use their mouth. They have said, Our confidence has departed from us. It has melted. No man, everybody is afraid of your God. That is a God in heaven and a God on earth. I say this to those who have been afraid in Nigeria and those who, who have been talking about they are taking over this country. You have not seen the hand of my father before. You are about to see one. When you see God, the one whose name is called Odogu Akataka, Aturun Kejuda. The one who is the land of the tribe of Judah. The Bible says some people had his footfalls. Overnight, 185,000 of the enemy died. And you, you think because God is not over Nigeria. And then we say all sorts of things. We have stolen from the needy. We have stolen elections. We have done all sorts of things. I'm not talking about that tonight. I'm talking about your mouth. Your mouth can lift you up. Your mouth can deliver you. In Mark chapter 5, verse 36, the Bible said, from verse 33, 34, 35, the Bible said, as soon as Jairus was following Jesus, Jesus said, follow me, let us go and heal your daughter. Somebody came from his house and said, why are you troubling the master? Your daughter is dead. Jesus knew the power of spoken word. Verse 36 says, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto Jairus, the ruler of the synagogue, said, don't be afraid. Only believe. If not for that timely word, there would have been problem for Jairus. Jairus started well. He said, Jesus, follow me. Come and heal my daughter. If you lay your hand on my daughter, my daughter will be healed and my daughter will be alive. Exactly what he said came to pass. Every obstacle he met on the way, he overcame them because God was with him. I speak to you today. God will be with you. God be with you. God be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. When they go to the house of Jairus, they said, some people were laughing at Jesus. When he said the child was, set, was asleep. Jesus, the Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews, that our God is the one who calls things that are not as if though they were there. He can call, if the world we now occupy, we now inhabit, came out of nothing. What can God not do? So you that you are afraid about this, about that, hey, from my father's house, hey, you have a heart problem. Speak to that heart. You are created by God. In the name of Jesus, hear the word of God. Speak to your heart. And your heart will hear. You will see yourself living. Job said, the fear of what I'm afraid of has finally come upon me. I was always afraid. One day poverty will come. Hey, Wala will come. Wala came. The enemy came to attack you. What can make you to be afraid? What can encourage you? What can strengthen you? The Bible said when the 12 spies were sent in the book of Numbers to go and spy the land of Canaan, when they came, 10 of them brought terrible reports. 
They say we are like grasshoppers. They, we are going to be destroyed. God answered them in Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. God said, what you have spoken, I will perform. Those who spoke confidently, I will bring your word to pass. Those who say you are grasshoppers, you will become grasshoppers and you will be consumed. And the Bible said they were all consumed. Only Caleb and Joshua made it to the promised land with the other young ones. Because of what they said. They said we are like grasshoppers. The people of the land, they are like giants. But only two said, the people, their confidence has departed from them. They are made for us. We are able and we are going to take over the land. And they did took over the land. They spoke it down. It happened. Few weeks ago, from February to March, we've been talking about feeding of 250 families. It looked as if it was a mirage. But with all the monies involved, we have done one face. This was a t-shirt we wore yesterday for the program. And as you can see, you would have seen the adverts already before this message. And you are going to be seeing more in the coming which will be posting them for you. More and more and more by the grace of God and victorious. As you can see, what happened yesterday, we had more than enough. When we came back, the people we left behind, they too went home. Everybody, they were happy yesterday to the glory of God's name. When I was saying it, I didn't have all the resources. But God, who is rich in mercy, who is powerful, who is above all. The Bible says in Psalm 24, verse 1, that the earth belongs to God and the fullness thereof. Everything went well because we have spoken earlier. Listen to me. The spoken word is powerful. If God did not do anything outside speaking the word to create this world, how much more? What are you doing with your mouth? Don't use your mouth for negative things anymore. I have seen what God has done through my mouth severally. Just speaking the word. And I'm saying to you again, the second phase of our outreach will begin soon. We will announce also. Yesterday at Chambian Plaza in Abuja, we met lots of volunteers along the way in Third Avenue. They, we joined together and it was wonderful. We were not able to get police escort on time. They said we didn't see on time. But all those that followed us, all the hoodlums in all the villages, they behaved themselves because we have called upon the God who can handle hoodlums. They were quiet. I told them, I said, be quiet. If you are not quiet, you won't get anything here. And they behaved themselves. Every one of them. Those that the villagers were afraid of. And I was among the last that left that place. Some had left because they were still doubting. But I made sure everything was in order before I left. Calls are still coming in for appreciation. And every one of it, the ones in words, we will post them on our pages so that all of you can see. And you can know that God has used you to touch a life. Praise the Lord. Your mouth can be the sepulchre of your problem. Your mouth can deliver you. Words can make you afraid. Word can lift you up. Word can win battles for you. Word can aid your defeat. Before battle begins, word can make you to be defeated. Goliath spoke to David to make him afraid in 1 Samuel 17. Said, Today I will feed your flesh. To this, I will kill you. But David was wiser. David did not face Goliath in his, in, by his strength. David said, you have come to me with sword, with javelin, and with a shield. But I come unto you in the name of the Lord of hosts, whose armies you have insulted today. Today I will kill you. Heaven said, Amen. The rest is history. In verse 51 of 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 51 of 1 Samuel chapter 17, the Bible said, David ran and stood upon the chest of Goliath. He cut off his head with Goliath's sword. You may not have what it takes to be wealthy today. When the time comes, everything you need will be supplied to you. As at the time David did a sword, Goliath in his death, in his death provided sword to cut off the head of the enemy. I proclaim to you with my mouth today, the government of every, the, the head of every government troubling you, we cut, off, we cut them off with the sword of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, the head of every government troubling Nigeria, in Africa, from Africa, from the Arabs, from Asia, from Europe, from the Americas, we cut off their heads in Jesus' name. The head of every
troubling government, troubling Nigeria, inside Nigeria, co colluding with the enemy to trouble the innocent in Nigeria. We cut off your heads. We behead you like Goliath in Jesus' name. The next few days and few weeks, every one of you witness, you go back to this message and glorify God. You are not going to glorify William. I'm just a messenger with a message. Isaiah 42 verse 8, God said, I am God. That is my name. My glory will I not share with any man, neither my praise with any graven image. Before I leave, I want to say to you, according to the book of Daniel, chapter 4, I told us before, I said, pride goes before you fall. Pride can take your destiny from you. Pride can take your wealth away. Pride can take your kingdom away. Pride can destroy your inheritance. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 31, King Nebuchadnezzar has been warned severally about pride. He never listened. But one day he stood on his palace and said, Is this not the great Babylon which I built with my hand? The Bible said, The big part said, As soon as the word came out of the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. Shall we rise? Wherever you may be in any part of the world, I want you to lift up your hands and lift up your voice. Shall we worship the Lord? Listen to me. Jesus recognized loud worship. The Bible said of the ten lepers that were cleansed, only one came back and was shouting, worshiping him from afar. And Jesus recognized and said, Were well, there are not ten cleansed? Lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift it up and worship him. Give him the fruit of your lips. All on to so bini. Olorun mi ba 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 o Olorun mi to wuwo ni Olorun mi ba 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 o Aye o ba ha o o forun se pe Olorun o ba Open your mouth loud and clear. Begin to thank the Lord. Why it not for God? David said, Why it not for God when the enemy opened their mouth like a dog to consume us? We took God to deliver us. Open your mouth, Father. Thank you. Thank him. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his goodness upon your life. The Bible said in Psalm 107, it's three times said, All oh, that men will praise the Lord. Three verses, all oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works, even to the children of men. Father, Lord, thank you. Oluweshe, Oluweshe. Oluweshe. Thank you, Father. We are grateful. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all the time. You are never tired of us. Asim no diro ye di kagi Chika di bia O diro ye di kagi Idi e bube Nani marama e O diro ye di kagi Asim ni di e bube Ni marama O diro ye di kagi Open your mouth, thank God Thank Him, continue tell yourself My mouth, you will not be my sepulchre My mouth, you will not kill me Enumi o ni pa mi Enumi o ni pa mi Open your mouth to pray. My mouth you will lift me up. My mouth, ah, you will rebuild me. My mouth you will heal me. My mouth you will strengthen me. As I proclaim the word of God through you, you will begin to act fast in my life. Every, everything, every good thing I've lost. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of them that were in Zion. Psalm 126, verse 1. Psalm 126, verse 1. Said we were like them that dream. Even then our mouth was filled with laughter. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what I'm going through now, I will laugh last. I will overcome. I am conquering. I am I'm 
be, be victorious every minute in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. I want to hear in the studio. Open your mouth to pray. Not only recording, pray for yourself. Pray for your destiny. Your mouth must deliver you. Must mouth, your mouth must lift you to the throne. Whatsoever good has been taken from you, your mouth will, must fight for you. Ah, oh God, Lord, from today, my mouth, out of my mouth shall issue forth rivers of living water. Out of my mouth shall issue forth, oh God, words of favor, words of grace, words, oh God, of power, words of lifting up, words of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy will not have the last chapter of my life. I say from my mouth, it shall be well with me. When I go out, when I come in, it is well with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I when I sit down to eat, it shall be well with me. When I rise, it is well with me. When I lay down, it is well with me. My going out, my coming in, every good thing I lay my hand upon, it shall be well. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will end well. I will not shed tears of sorrow this year. Nobody will remove their shoes to come and tell me sorry. In the name of Jesus Christ. He want you, want you the woman, Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to continue praying tonight. Spend 30 minutes to be proclaiming powerful things to your destiny from your mouth. You can take your time. Look at the Bible. Write them down. There are blessings. Millions and millions of words of blessings in the Bible. Write them down and begin to proclaim them upon yourself. you see, as you do this for the next seven days, your situation will change. And you write us and you give testimonies. And God's name will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Where we see your testimonies powerful, Send to those numbers, we will paste it on our page and the whole world will see what God has done in your life. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Abba, Father, we thank you. Every eye is looking at me, everyone lifting up their hands, whatever they may be. Oh Lord, I decree, a turn around for good. From today in the name of Jesus Christ, a turn around for good. Whereas they've been using their mouth for what is not God glorifying from today, they will issue word, season with salt in the name of Jesus Christ and their lives will never remain the same. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The same vein, I want to say thank you. Were it not for you, you listened, you heard, and you responded beyond what we could think. Ah, we had God supported us yesterday. It was too much, it was overwhelming. And the thanksgiving, the smiles, and the joy on the faces of those people from their mouth, God will make sure your own portion will not be counted among the dead. God will bless you, and the whole world will fear him. According to his word in Psalm 67, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Till I come your way again, I want to tell you that God loves you. I love you. God loves you better. But make sure you give your life to Christ. A life outside Christ is a life of crisis. You can put your hand on your chest now and pray and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my personal Lord and Savior. From today, I become born again and my life never remains the same. If I pray that prayer, send us testimonies. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. A god feel weak before the presence of God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Love you. Bye-bye. Yeah.